How much will this cost us? We are in the United States. It would cost fifty one hundred dollars in total. Fifty one hundred five bands for that. That's like, come on, bro. Come on, come on. You're paying five thousand dollars to look horrifying. Who is that? Who is that? Why wouldn't they always do these facelifts? The eyes always look wider. Is it because they're stretching? So they're like, they're like pulling more skin back. That sounds horrifying. That's not the same person. It's a cold Sunday to complain. I hold it in until it rain. I fought demons out the fame. I spent millions on terrain. I treat my bitches like Diana. Pretty princess, hold a fan. I'm dozen three dog chink of banner. Jeans make her ass look fatter. We won't catch him outside. He don't got no money for the backup. I ran 30 million in the ground. Baby, now I'm back up. She a city girl on the real reason that she act up. She coming back, I make her pack up. Set her home on spirit. Something in my spirit made me not believe I fear. The first video is titled I Investigated TikTok Scariest Surgeon by Tooth. If you've been on TikTok or Twitter lately, there's a chance you may have seen some viral facelift surgeries going around. But Bro, exactly I've been seeing this and it's actually well, horrifying. Two clips to show you. Like, bro, this dude's face looks insane after. Like the after. Like, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. He he looks horrifying. He looks horrifying. He looks like he's going to kill me. And somehow they made his eyes look bigger. That, you look scary. Yeah. Today and then, like, look at the... Is that stitching at the top? That's just horrifying. I don't even want to know what you. Yeah, today I'm going to be investigating TikTok's scariest surgeons, and I'm going to be answering some questions. Who is Dr. Kim? Why are there several accounts blowing up right now with the same facelift concept? Where are their offices located? How much cheaper is this than U.S. prices? All of which will be answered in today's video. You want to know why? Because I actually okay. got in contact with them and they offered to fly me out. So. Let's really oh yeah see now i'm actually so i'm i'm it, really investigating Jaizu 16 on tiktok aka dr kim the page has 93 videos all covering facelift surgeries usually on older folk they've been blowing up for obvious reasons because these people kind of look really creepy actually when i first saw these faces on Twitter, bro i was horrified because i was like yeah just some ai generated hoax but uh the more research i did unfortunately these are not ai generated Generated. These are real surgeries. Speaking of TikToks, a very popular TikTok surgeon. Well, he's just a surgeon that just so happens to have a big TikTok account. I don't want to call him TikTok surgeon, but a surgeon with a big TikTok account at 8.3 million followers by the name of Dr. Yoon. Oh, him, him, him. So let's get to his thoughts. Plastic surgery coming out of Asia is so extreme that it actually makes me sad. I mean, how does somebody go from this? To this and this is a ton of work that was done i mean she's a beautiful woman before and after but why and this whole thing is strange because are these truly the hands of a 69 year old woman and here's another look at them this is just strange yeah what's going on in this video are there filters is this not the same person i'd love to hear your thoughts we're commenting all over TikTok about this dr kim's results is this taking it too far on a 46 year old where you do all these procedures on a beautiful 39 year old woman or approximately eight to ten hours of surgery? bro it's not even like the same face shape. It's like you're literally reconstructing their face. It's like, how are you doing that? On a 76 year old woman, first of all, no criticism to any of these patients. If they want to undergo a cosmetic procedure and alter their appearance, then that's their business. But every surgeon has to make their decision on what they think is right. And for me, no thank you. Like Dr. Yoon said in his video, there are some people as young as nah. nine years old getting these surgeries. Of course, according to the captions. I'll read you guys some of the captions and no, I'm not just cherry picking like the weirdest ones. You could go over there and 90% of them are just- No, boring. I believe him. 46 year old sister turned into a little girl after facial lift. If she walks down the street with her daughter, she is like a sister. My sister from Japan, not far from Wan Lee, came to see us for a facelift. My sister- really Okay, see, look, that one, hold on. Not far from Wan Lee. That one one isn't creepy it's kind of weird but it isn't that weird to me you just look way younger with her daughter she is like a sister my sister from see like it's like okay 
Japan, not far from Wanli, it's like for a facelift. something changed from 50 years old to a little girl after her face. Ew, there's also a man's right to love beauty. My 58 year old brother has a very good facelift effect. Obviously, this isn't some person posting this that just so happens. To oh, what's up, young older siblings? It's just bait to get people to trust them more. And as much as they get thousands of <laughs> what the bro, this surgeries are the sad reality. Bro, this I don't even know what to say to this, bro. This face surgery stuff is just this looks horrible. Some older people comment that they want these surgeries. Ayuda, yo quiero por favor. Which just translates to help. I want this, please. Parece que tiene 20 años, por Dios. ¿Cuánto cuesta un lead facial y cuello en Corea? Gracias. Follow me. So this one directly. Yeah, yeah, surgery. And like, it's like they do. Hold on, I can go back a little bit. Like, bro, it's like horrifying a little. If she walks down the street with her daughter, she is like a sister. My sister not a little. Japan, not far from Wan Lee, came to see us for a facelift. My sister really changed from 50 years old to a little girl after her Yeah, facelift. like that's it's horrifying. Like, what am I looking at? Man's right to love beauty. My 58-year-old That's also horrifying. Facelift effect. Obviously, this isn't some person That looks painful. Can they even move their a lot of older siblings? Like it's just ah. to people to trust them more. And as much as they get thousands of comments expressing how what what does that look like? <laughs> the reality is some older people comment that they want these surgeries. Ayuda, you okay, 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 okay. Means on God. How much is the face and neck lift in Korea? Thank you. And another comment that just says yo quiero, which means I want. I have no idea why the comments I found of people admitting Jerome Valeska. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna look on the last Oh, yeah, 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 yep, I see. <laughs> yeah, 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 yep. Done are all in Spanish, but that doesn't make the situation any less scarier. These are still older people, mostly women, being brainwashed into not only getting a facelift surgery, but also that they should go to Dr. Kim if they're looking to get a facelift surgery. Look, if any older people are watching this video, I know I'm only 21, but I promise you, you're beautiful the way you are. You don't need a facelift, especially one by Dr. Kim, to feel confident. And if you do get surgery, please. Do your research on it. Don't just see a random TikTok and say, this is it. This is going to be my life-changing experience that I'll never be able to take back. This is very serious and permanent stuff. And I'm sure that that man that's being posted everywhere. You have some messed up stories? What what happened? Insecurity people already feel to get a facelift surgery. Then it's botched. And then it's posted everywhere on social media not only that they have to go back home like that like imagine your parents get that surgery they come back home bro if if my parents got that surgery if my parents got that surgery i'm gonna be like yeah i don't know you they try to give me a hug next thing you know it's a wwe match bro again ddt got a, fa a new face for the rest of your life it really is the fact that it's no but the, the people get face surgeries all the time and they do look good like as much as we want to hate on them they do look good sometimes so what i know there's see. some comments talking about like i'm out see now i'm about to <laughs> I, I just get curious sometimes essential It may have nothing to do with horses. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Okay, I heard of it. I just didn't know. So basically, they were just going in and <laughs> they were just going in and just getting with the horse. Yeah. Yeah, he got he got. <laughs> <laughs> By a horse is crazy. Actions have consequences. And yes, they did make the decision to go to Dr. Kim for some reason, but there's still people with feelings. And if there's one thing I'm not going to do in this video, it's make fun of them. Who knows how their mental is right now? So I was clicking the hashtags on Dr. Kim's post. And they led to more facelift surgeries, but by different accounts. And yes, those surgeries also <laughs> right. had um, not so pleasant results. So now we have two more accounts to look into. Dr. Sam 
and Liang, I don't know how to pronounce that, but we'll just call this one Liang. Liang's bio translated to, and keep in mind it's broken English, in Shanghai, doctor of medicine, more than 30 years of plastic surgery experience, facial rejuvenation, the kill dozer? Surgery, overall facial shape, it's a real thing. Plastic surgery, breast nah, surgery, I don't know what that is. Body shaping sculpture, contour plastic surgery, plastic surgery, a guy on a joker arc is crazy. That's crazy. To one doctor doing all of those surgeries, they are out of their minds. Really? I know it's broken English, but I'm going to show you guys later in the video why I truly do think there's only one or three main doctors doing all of these surgeries. <laughs> So the first thing I wanted to know was who oh, okay, okay, was okay. Dr. Kim. I tried copy and pasting his name, but that led nowhere. Then I tried reverse image searching his profile picture, but that too led nowhere. Zero matches. What? You'd think if he was using a fake picture, the stock image website wherever he got it from was going to pop up or wherever he stole the fake picture from. Right. Zero matches is really weird. Under that Chinese text is another text, which reads VX. One eight seven zero 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 six zero one. VX what? is also known as WeChat and is a Chinese multi-purpose messaging, social media, and payment making app. Which is why I posted on my Instagram story asking if someone could verify my WeChat account because their verification system involves someone that has already had a WeChat account for over six months and then they can let you in. So uh, big thank you to everyone that was DMing me trying to verify my WeChat account. But you'll see later in the video why I didn't have to go with that. But if you guys do want to help with okay. the video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. At my oh, is that the, the link to the video? So, Dr. Kim and Liang both have WhatsApp links in their bios, and they both lead to the same account? Jaizu-GJ. Jaizu, huh? The actual at for the Dr. Kim account? Hmm. Okay, okay, so but... when you click a WhatsApp link, it sometimes gives you a pre-written sentence to send to the recipient, and Liang's link says, Hi, Dr. He, and Kim's just says hello. So moving forward, we'll call Liang Dr. He. And, well, what did I do with the WhatsApp information? Well, I contacted Jaizu. Hello, can I reach Dr. Kim? I figured they would what? To respond so in the meantime i was doing more research and i actually found a lead as to who's performing these surgeries so i found a yet another facelift account but it wasn't <laughs> <facelift> <laughs> but you're, bro that's what i be saying like some things are just not worth it at all dr l and his facebook cover picture already reveals a new character yes yes there goes chow ming li shang wei shen Xiao Zun, Orange Chicken, huh? And me, which yeah, it seems to be <laughs> Dr. L. And what do their shirts say? If you zoom in, they clearly say Dr. Li Feng. And where are they located? Well, according to Facebook, <laughs> why did I say Shanghai, that? Shanghai, China. Okay, wow. That's a lot of new information. My guess at that moment, and it kind of still is, was that Dr. Li Feng was the main face surgeon. He has a company in Shanghai, China, with various assistants and employees, and uses TikTok as a form of promotion in hopes to get blonde hair, blue eyes will hopefully carry. WhatsApp, and then most likely, <laughs> you should be fine. <laughs> Looks like they responded on WhatsApp, and that was definitely not scripted. But, um, yeah, let's read exactly through our WhatsApp messages. Okay, so here we are on my phone on WhatsApp. I am going to be blurring the phone number, even though it's, like, easily accessible on TikTok. But I still don't want to be the one to put it out there. So there will be a bunch of blurred stuff. So sorry about that. Anyway, hello. Can I reach Dr. Kim? Hi. What can I do for you? I'd like more information about the facelifts. Is there a website I can visit? Because gjhose.com does not work. And in case you're wondering where I got gjhose.com, which I know is funny hose. <laughs> it's actually the website this account has on their WhatsApp account. So believe me, when I first saw okay. that i was like bingo we got it but uh apparently a new website is constructing in order to know you more and make plan for you please send me your photos and then uh, they send like a, a diagram of how they want me to send the photos for my surgery and that's when i freaked out because my whatsapp just says my actual name and it has a profile picture of me i can't send a picture of me because they're gonna know first of all i'm young and i probably won't need anything unless they can make something up which they probably could anyway Okay. To go to yeah, bro, this is just weird. Look up old Asian lady, just to uh, you know, kind of play the part. Mojo, I'm explaining something really important. You're gonna distract the. But audience. how are you gonna so get the side? Wait, wait. wait. But how are you gonna get the same picture of the woman from the front side and then like that? Old, uh, older Asian lady, 
selfie. I wanted to get a selfie rather than a model that just wouldn't make sense. So I got a selfie. Obvious reasons I'm going to be blurring her face out because this is, uh, I just got it from the internet. So I made up a lie. Oh, okay. The person that wants this is not me, but rather my wife. We'd like to know the prices. My goal was to get Okay. The okay. Good lie. Name of the person that does these surgeries. That's what I wanted. I suspect Dr. Kim is not real. But anyway, I send the picture. I say, this is her. Sir, I saw the photos you sent and your wife's facial proportions are great. The distance from the forehead to the brow is so Similar to the distance from the brow to the tip of the nose and the distance from the nose tip to the chin. This gives her face a very three-dimensional appearance. The primary issues your wife is currently facing are due to aging, resulting in sagging of the face, leading to nasolabial folds, marionette what lines, the fuck? and neck wrinkles. <laughs> These factors contribute to her tired appearance. According to your wife's facial condition, I would suggest to consider a mini facelift. The mini facelift can effectively improve tear throughs, nasolabial folds, necklines, and corner of the mouth bags, making your wife a What am I watching? The results Yo. Are last for at least 10 years, which is Bro, it does sound like an AI response. Wait, forgot to tell me what. Already insane, you know, like it seemed like they buttered her up. Wait, what? What happened? You got banned from the Jesus AI stream. How? <laughs> Wait, what? What stream? <laughs> Why'd you? <laughs> Why'd you ask what a milf was? Is that wrong to <laughs> say? At the beginning, well, she looks great. But she could improve these things. You know, I'm not gonna say manipulation, but if you know you're already an insecure old woman, they might they might apparently just, obviously there's a lot of TikToks proving that they got a lot of people. I don't wanna be the one to say they, they incorporate manipulation as a tactic, but they just might. And the thing that scared me, honestly, while doing this research, you told him you drop man, kicked right? the child. Oh, I see man. why you got kicked <laughs> out. <laughs> okay. And they think <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure that's beside the point? Yo, what? Her jawline's not even the same. What am I looking at? Hold on, wait, I gotta move the camera. What? Looks like Facetune, honestly, but... Okay, I'ma just move my camera from the time being, just so you can see it. This is the one that really got me. This one. This is, um... Let's just say unpleasant. So, yeah. It it's just something about it that's just like scary. What I think it would be like, bro, that's what I was thinking. That's what literally that's what I was saying earlier. Like, since everything's like pulled or like however they do it, does it hurt to like move their face? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want none of like uh-uh and like what if you like grab them too hard and their face starts hurting or like uh, and they use stitches and stuff so what if you rip the stitch oh yeah that's horrifying it, it's just scary that i think it would be horrible is like the, the solution of course i had to pretend wow how much will this cost us we are in the united states it would cost fifty one hundred dollars in total 5100 five bands for that, that's like, come on, bro. Come on, come on. Bro. You're paying five thousand dollars to look horrifying. Up an accommodation for you. Do you come to China with your wife? All right, let's stop there. So first, the price: fifty-one hundred dollars. Average facelift here in the okay. U.S. And actually, I looked up Los Angeles around eight thousand minimum. Obviously, if it's anything less than eight thousand, there's a chance people could fly out there and get a cheaper version of the same surgery. Which obviously, it's it's a big incentive. It's cheaper over here. Just buy your flight and make your way here. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. Are you in this? Shanghai, this video. Would like to know who is doing the surgery if we do move forward with this procedure. Yes, I am in Shanghai, China. Doctor Li Feng would perform the procedure. Doctor Li Feng. What about Doctor Kim on TikTok? I thought that was the doctor. They did reply with text, but first they sent me a video. And who's that in the corner? 
So that's Dr. Kim? That is Dr. Lee Fang. According oh, to Lee Fang. This is the guy that's doing the surgeries. They literally told me. That's what they told me. There is a potential face. You know, I'm only going to say allegedly. I'm not going to fully accuse him. But allegedly, this is the guy that did everything. That's doing all those botched surgeries. There is a face to that man. <laughs> he looks like he got brainwashed. Lee Fang. He honestly looks like a, like a nice guy. That's what I'm saying. Bro, he doesn't even... Right. I'm so glad you pointed that out. He didn't even... Like, he looks... He looks like off but at the same time he looks normal like Actually, this is the guy that did everything okay okay so nice if you guys see a blur that's because i'm blurring out the person you know i don't want to include any of these people like i've said before each doctor has uh -huh. different areas of expertise for facelift dr lee is the best and if you're interested in facial contouring procedures dr. yeah lee yeah like he's not there like he his head isn't wife. there yeah exactly see bro we know i may come back with more questions thank you yes this is a big decision. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me anytime. So they just alluded to the fact that Dr. Kim is a real person along with Dr. Lee Fang. So this is what I was saying at the beginning of the video. I feel like there's one to three real surgeons and uh, everything else is just a uh, TikTok promo. So again, I'm not- <laughs> Some Dr. Patrick Lee Bateman. Person, yeah. asked for him and they sent another one. Pretty weird. Like he just, so he just not there. Out, he's just, he's just mentally not there. He's just, it's like, sir, wake up. Are a lot more doctors, not just Dr. Kim or Dr. Lee Fang. So let's head on over to that section. Okay, there's so even there's more. Another facelift account. I know it's pretty funny. There's what? Hundreds and uh, there's a lot I didn't include in this video. But this one was a little bit different because it had a different WhatsApp number and a working website. But first, let's check out their pinned post. What the fuck? Yo, hold on. I didn't even mean to say <laughs> Yo, wait. <laughs> no, huh? Am I seeing... Who? That's not the same... That's not the same... That's not the same girl. She has a square face. Her face is so, like, squared. No, what? What? Who is that? Who is that? Why when they always do these facelifts, the eyes always look wider? Is it because they're stretching? So they're like, they're like pulling more skin back. That sounds horrifying. That's not the same person. What? See, even though she's trying to be normal, it's some about it, bro. Yeah, she didn't even. I don't even. It's it's some about her. It's the eyes, bro. Every time, it that's why it looks so weird. It's some like your eyes in like the mouth. Why her mouth look like? So already, I don't in know. Post, I don't she know had... Why I had to put the money counter at the beginning, but already in this post, you know, they're showing, that, um, <laughs> they're showing how they <laughs> scammed her. Like, <laughs> he like does a money spread in the front. <laughs> this is a girl crying in the back. They did some, something with the legs. I don't know what, but I personally just find this sad. I don't think you need to look like a fictional character. I think fictional characters are that fictional characters. I hope anyone watches. Nah, that's not even cringe. It's like, that's, in my opinion, that's how God made you. You should. You look that way for a reason. You shouldn't wanna exactly like trying to go like trying to go against it, bro. Like or trying to be somebody else or something else or look like somebody else. It you'll never be able to. It doesn't look right. Like it just uh, Nah, ain't nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I, hey, me personally, I don't really care. Everybody's religion is what they believe. But like, in my opinion, God made you a certain way. So, my opinion, you shouldn't want to change nothing about yourself. Now, if you do, that's what you do. 
just fine the way you are. Again, if you do get a surgery, just do your research on it. Now let's head on to their website, drchenyang.com. It's broken English, so I'm gonna read it the way I fixed it. Chen Yang, male, is a president of Hangzhou Qingying Medical Cosmetology, a senior plastic surgery attending physician and a youth committee member of the Zhejiang Plastic Surgery Branch of the Chinese Medical Association. During his decades of plastic surgery and beauty work, President Chen Yang has served as director and dean of major first line brand plastic plastic surgery and beauty hospitals such as Mai Lai, Huame, and Yi Xing. I probably butchered those. Sorry about that. He has devoted himself to studying medical beauty techniques, absorbing and refining the essence of technology, and applying the principles of plastic surgery and beauty to the public. He organically combines science with the artistry of beauty aesthetics. He often exchanges plastic surgery techniques with famous domestic and international <laughs> plastic surgery masters. <laughs> Sounds like the plot of a Simpson episode. <laughs> he is one of those reviews <laughs> <laughs> right and then every time like <laughs> of beauty lovers so let's go back to a certain quote right there he often exchanges plastic surgery techniques with famous domestic and international plastic surgery masters what do they mean by exchanges again this is broken english but could this mean he's not qualified for some procedures he's doing well guys that same sentence can be found in his about section and guess what's under it facial surgery laser surgery breast augmentation brow lift eyelid defect repair no surgery chin surgery ear surgery lip surgery hair transplant dimple shaping hymen repair vaginal tight nipple so shaping what why are these even things what does that do? Surgery, lip surgery, hair transplant, dimple shaping, hymen repair, vaginal tightening, and so much. Vaginal tightening? What? <laughs> what? First of all, you're it's it's cooked if you have to get it tightened. I've never heard no girl get it tightened. That's kind of crazy. Imagine you have a girl and she's talking about I need it. Sometimes she <laughs> <laughs> bro if she got to get it tightened there's a problem it does it on its own after a while so she going to get it surgically tightened means it's a gaping crater crater like it's just more either this man is the best surgeon of our timeline or you're gonna end up with a botched surgery if you go to him and i think we know which answer is the correct one that's right he's the best surgeon of all time i'm just kidding no he does have some references on his website but wait where are all the tiktoks that show the surgeries shouldn't they be on your reference page i don't know man this is all just fucking weird and seems extremely unsafe so let's that sounds absolutely so horrifying guys, that was it for this video uh here's mojo he wants to say nah bro that was i spent millions on terrain i treat my bitches like diana pretty princess hold a fan of dogs and three dogs and cabana jeans make her ass look fatter we won't catch him outside he don't got no money for the backup i ran 30 million in the ground baby now i'm back up she a city 